In this SketchUp tutorial video, I want to cover how you make multiple copies of an object and use the multiply tool. So what I have on my screen here is just a very, very simple object. It's essentially a five foot by five foot um, shape made out of a cube, nothing special. But let's say I wanted to make some copies of this. The basic process that we've been through before is to select the object. So I can triple click to select the entire object. So this hasn't been grouped, it's not a component or anything like that at this point. We can grab our move tool, pick our base point, and then to make a copy with our move tool, remember you hit the control key. When I'm doing that, I'll pull the mouse to the direction I want to go and I can type in how far I want that copy to be from that original base point. So I'll say 10 feet. If I want to make multiples, I can get, just continue on this process. I can pick a base point, hit the control key, move my mouse the direction I want to go, 10 feet, enter, and so on. You can imagine if you had something that you want to make a lot of copies of, if you had railings, um, a large building with a lot of windows, you know, some texture you're creating, a brick pattern, you know, anything like that, that could take you a very long time. So what we can do is use the multiply tool in SketchUp to automate this process and make it go a little bit easier. I'm just going to hit the space bar to get out of that. I'll just delete my copies. The multiply tool or command is a little bit hidden in SketchUp. It's more of a keyboard command than anything else. But we start out with the same basic process of move and copy. So I'm going to triple click on my object, pick move, select my base point, hit control, and pull my mouse out the direction I want to go. Now I will say that I would also like this one to go 10 feet that direction. The important thing now is that if I want to create multiple copies is to not get out of this move slash copy command. I want to stay in that. Then I need to tell SketchUp how to do this. There's a couple of different ways to do it. You can either hit X on your keyboard and the number of copies you want to make or the star key or the asterisk key on your keypad. Either will do it. I'm going to use the X key and say that I actually want to make this copy more than just once. I'll say times five and then I'll hit enter. When I do that you'll see that it gives me five copies not just the one. If I stay in this command, I haven't hit the space bar, I haven't gone to my selection tool, I can come in and say, oh, well, how about times three, enter, and now I just have the three copies, or times 12, enter. So I can go in and change that. If I wanted 20, I say times 20, enter, and now I have 20 copies. If I wanted 40, I would say times 40, not times 20 again. So you don't have to add to it or anything like that. It just lets you go in and modify it until you're happy and exit out of the command. If I change that to a times four and hit enter, I want to point out that when you say times four or whatever number it is, it's going to be that number plus one. So it's going to leave that original and then add. So it's just something to keep in mind. So when I said, you know, times four, there's really five. Or if you do times five, there's really six. Um, it's, you know, it's a simple concept, but sometimes that throws people off a little bit. So it's just something to keep in mind.